Hello, hello. I think there is nobody here. Come on. Let's just start by opening up the presentation. Now the first one is simple present questions and statements. It's a review. Mm -hmm. uh, just to make a review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Questions and short answers. Hello, Renee. Hi, oh, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? How are you today? Very good. Very I'm good. Little, I'm a little tired. Why? What happened? <sighs> very work. Very young. Very work. A lot of work. Yes. Okay, uh, did you go to see the parades yesterday? Yes. So, so. Did you have fun? Sorry? Did you have fun? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Okay. I'm very tired of yesterday. Did you go to work or you had a day yeah. off? In my house, I in the house. Ah, in the house. You were at home yesterday. Yes. You didn't go out? Mm, no. 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 You don't, don't you like to see the parades? I don't want to do that. Do you know parades? Los desfiles, parades. Uh, no. 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 You rest no at home. No time. No, no time. Okay. What about you, Guadalupe? Mm -hmm. What did you do yesterday? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, that's great. What about you, Oscar? How are you today? How are you today, Oscar? Do you need to um, turn your microphone on? I think you're having problems with your microphone. Okay. Um, just to start, uh, for today, we're going to continue with the section number two. Uh, we're going to exercise a little bit. Just to remember, uh, we're going to practice simple present WH questions and statements. Just to make a review, remember that when we're making uh, questions using the simple present, we need to use the auxiliary too. Okay, and that's for the third person singular. That, this is for questions. We always need to use the auxiliary do at the beginning of the question if it is a yes no question. After the auxiliary, we place the subject. After the subject, the verb, and then the complement. Okay, and at the end, the question mark. Okay, if it is third person singular, remember that we're going to use the auxiliary does, does, and then the subject, third person singular, does he, does she, does it. After that, we're gonna to place the verb, and then the complement, and finally the question mark. Okay, this is for just yes, no questions. 
For example, if I ask you, do you like cheese, Renee? Yes. I, yes. Yes, I, I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Guadalupe, do you like cheese? Do you like cheese? Uh-huh. Mm. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, how are you? Ricardo, do you like cheese, Ricardo? Okay, he's getting ready. Okay, well, uh, WH questions are a little bit different, but they are kind of the same because um, if you see, there you have the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, in some cases, complement. The only difference is that you have to place a WH word at the beginning before the auxiliary. And then you cannot answer yes or no. You have to provide information. Okay? So we're going to be practicing the simple present WH questions. Uh, let's repeat. What do you do? What do you do? What do, you do? What do you I'm do? a student. I have a part-time job too. I am a student. I, I am a student. A student. I have a part-time job do? too. Where do you work? Where, Where, do you, you Where do you work? I work at Hamburger uh, Heaven. I work, I work, I work, work at the Hamburger Heaven. Where do you go to school? Where do you, work? Where do you, Where do you, you go, go to school? school? I go to the go University of Texas. I go to the University of Texas. What does Andrea do? What does Andrea do? Andrea do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. She she Where does she work? Where does she work? Where does she work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. How does she like it? How does she like it? She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. Okay, uh, what do you do, Ricardo? Uh, I am, I am work. What do you do? What is your occupation? Yeah, okay, for, I am, for example, I am here the question, what yeah. do you do? I am a student. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I am, I am planning and product, production and manufacturing. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, good. What about you, Rene? What do you do? I am a pro. Okay. What do you do, Guadalupe? I am... I am a student, a student English. Okay, you are an English student. Okay, you are an English student. Uh, what about you, William? What do you do? Um, I am a math teacher. You're a math teacher. Wow. Yeah. Carolina, what do you do? I am an assistant uh, administrative. Okay, you are an administrative assistant. Very good. Yeah. Rebecca, what do you do? Okay, next question. Where do you work, Guadalupe? Where do you work? Where do you work? I work in... Donut. I, I, donut. Uh, donut. Ah, entonces la respuesta sería, I work at a donut. Okay, usted trabaja en donuts. Uh, no. <laughs> Where do you work? <laughs> Ah, yo pensé en Mr. Donald, quizás trabaje en Mr. Donald. <laughs> no, I work in laboratorio. Okay, you work in the lab. Okay, uh, what about you? Where do you work, William? Um, I work in San Salvador in a college. Okay, in a school? 
foreign yeah. uh, well because college is a university oh okay it's a school okay so you work in a school very good yeah mm, okay um how do you like it how do you like it uh, it's for me yes so the question can be uh for example let me write it down here in the board if we are talking about job okay we are talking about job okay how do do you like her job how do you like your ah. job Ah, how do you like your job? No, si te gusta tu trabajo. How do you like your job? Is, uh, ¿qué, es tanto, que te, ¿Qué tanto te gusta o cómo te gusta like tu trabajo? En este caso, el, el it, how do you like it? Es porque ya se sabe que estamos hablando de trabajo. ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿Qué haces? Entonces, pero si no, solo le pregunto, how do you like your job? ¿Qué tanto? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué, qué tanto te gusta tu trabajo? Uh, usted me puede decir, I. I love my I job. Love I love it. Me encanta. I love it. Oh, uh, sin ser tan exagerados. I really like it. I really like it. En realidad me gusta. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Me gusta mucho. I, I hate it. Es lo detesto, lo detesto, lo odio. I hate it. That's another possibility. I hate it. I like it. I love it. I hate it. Oh, puede decir no, no me gusta like mucho. No me I gusta don't mucho. Like I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it very much. I don't like it very much. Oh, si no está así como que le ama, le encanta y pero tampoco lo odia. Más o menos. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I love it. I really like it. I like it a lot. I, I love it. it. I really like it. I, I like it a lot. I hate it. I don't like it very much. It's okay. O si quiere decir no me gusta para nada, no me gusta ni un poquito. I don't. I don't, really I don't like, like it. it at all. Para nada. I don't like it a lot. Uh, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Uh, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Ajá, no like me gusta it. para nada. I don't like it at all. Ok, so en esta pregunta es, le pide una descripción de qué tanto usted está conforme o a gusto con su trabajo, qué tanto le gusta. El like nos hace confundirnos y pensar, ah, yes, I like it. No, la pregunta es qué tanto le gusta. Ok. What about you, Carolina? How do you like your job? Ah, ok. Ok. It's ok. Ok, ask the same question to another classmate. Um, how do you like your job, um, William? Okay, um, I love it. Okay, continue, William. Ask another classmate. Okay, Rene, how okay. do you like your How do you like your job? I really like it. Okay, continue. Uh, William, how do you like your job? 
Julian. Eh, Guadalupe. Hello. How do you like your job? I really I like it. Okay. Continue, Guadalupe. Ask the question to another classmate. Ricardo. How do you like your, your, your job? Your job. Ricardo? I, I like it a lot. Continue, Ricardo. Okay. Vamos eh, con Juan Ismael. Hi, hello. <clears throat> hello, Juan. How do you like your job? Well, I really like it. Oh. Okay, continue. William, are you there? How do you yeah. like your job? Uh, I love it. Okay, I think it's enough practice with this. It's okay. So, do you have any questions so far? Questions? No. No, no question. Okay, no, no so question. did we complete this exercise? It's a conversation. Remember that in simple present, we are talking about uh, simple present activities. Remember, we have already talked about yes, no question, WH questions. And remember that in simple present, when you are making an affirmative statement in the third person singular, you have to add S or ES to most of, of the verbs. If the okay. verbs end in consonant plus Y, you have to change Y by I and add ES, okay? Okay. This is only for third person singular affirmative statements, remember. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's complete the conversation in your notebook. You can do it in your notebook. And then we're going to check. What do you do? I'm a full time student. She's a teacher. She is an art class. She is an art class. She is. School Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? Where does he work? He works. He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? 
Um, what does he do exactly? He's a way site designer. He made, he works. He has, he, he does fantastic. Fantastic. He does fantastic website. Oh. <laughs> Um, finished no no yet okay what? Yeah, I finished. Okay, let's see. Um, vamos a chequear acá. Okay, um, let's listen to a volunteer in conversation number one. Uh, Juan, you're going to be A and Ricardo B. Okay. Study. What do you do, Ricardo? I am to tell you your school of music. Number one, one, one B. One. Your B, Ricardo. Ah, what do you do? I am full time student, study the violin. 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 Mm -hmm. And what do you do? What do you what do you do to school? No. Uh, I no. What do and what do you where do you go? What do you do to school? No, because uh porque le dice to the New York a la escuela de música de Nueva York. Entonces le está indicando a qué lugar. Entonces la pregunta sería where? Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Es a donde estudias, a donde vas a la escuela. Where do you go to school? Okay. I go to the New York School of Music. I am the New York School of School of Music. I go. I go. I go. Wow. What? How do, do you, you like? like your classes? How do you like your classes? I like, them a lot. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Okay, let us practice the conversation. Let's repeat. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a full time student. I study the violin. I'm a full time, I'm a full -time, student. -time student. I study, I study the, the violin. violin. And where do you go to school? Um, and where, where do you go, do you go, to, go school? to school? I go to the New York School of Music. I go to, I go to the New York School, 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 of, school music. of Music. Wow, how do you like your classes? Wow, how do you, how like, do you like your classes? 
I like them a lot. I like I them a lot. Them. Okay, Rene, you are A and Guadalupe B. Siempre conversación uno. Rene A, Guadalupe B. Las mismas que se han, que se han dicho. Sí. Okay. I start. I start. Uh, what do you do? I am full-time student. I student the violin. I violin. study, I study the violin. The violin. And where did you go to school? Uh, I, I, is, is, where do you go to school? Eso es lo que acaba de decir usted. And where do you go to school? I go yes. to, to the New, New York School of Music. Wow, how do you like your classes? I like they a lot. Okay, okay, very good. Well done. Now, William, I have here that you raise your hand. William, we are going okay. to check the number two. You're going to be A. And okay. Rene, uh, you are B. In conversation number two, Rene, B, and William, A. Okay. Can you start, please? What does Tanya do? Uh, what? Does does does. Uh, she's a teacher. She works in an art class. She um, teaches. Ah, uh, she teaches. She teaches. Okay. Teaches in art class. At a school in uh, Denver. At a school in Denver. Okay. Continue. Okay. And what about Ryan? Gino, where, is, where does he work? Where does he work? He work uh, she works for a big computer company in San Francisco. Okay. He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He is a website designer. She is. He made the design of the website. Okay, good. Now let us practice that conversation. Juan, you are a. And let's see who your sister, Carolina. Okay. You are B. Conversation number two. Juan okay. is A and Carolina, you are B. B. Okay. Hey, what, what does Tanya do? What does Tanya do? She is a teacher. She, she teaches a teacher. an art class yeah. she is at a school in Denver. A, she, she, and she, what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? His website is singer. He designs fantastic website. Okay. Very good. Another two volunteers to practice that conversation. And what about Mm, no more volunteers? Why? No volunteers? Okay. Uh, are you start? Okay, Rene, Rene, Rene. Yeah. Okay, William and Rene. Okay. What does Tanya do? She's teachers. She teaches in health class and other school in general. Okay. Um, what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He's a web designer. He designs fantastic websites. 
Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Who else is there? Okay, let's listen to Veronica and um, Veronica and Ricardo. Okay. Okay. Uh, what does uh, What does Tania do? She's a teacher. She teaches in art class at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. <laughs> What does he do exactly? It's a website designer. He designs fantastic Designer. 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 Yes. He designs fantastic websites. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, the next thing is. Um, we have this conversation. The topic of the conversation is I start work at five. Let's see? I start work at five. 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 Look at, look at the picture. What do you see in the picture? Uh, two persons doing exercise. Okay, two person doing exercise. They are working yeah, out of the gym. Yeah. yeah, that's Kevin and Ali. Let's see. Let's practice pronunciation. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? So, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? We come to the gym in the morning. Come to the gym. Yeah, I do. I usually come here at ten in the morning. Yeah. I do. I usually come yeah, here. I do. I usually come here up then. Here, come here. Yes, I do. Here I usually come here at really. What time did you go to work? Okay. What time did you go? Really? What time do you go to work? Really? What time really? do you go to work? What time, what time, time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. Uh, I start work at five. Oh, I, I work, work in the afternoon. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? Wow, wow that's, that's late. When do you go get home at night? That's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. <clears throat> I usually, I usually get, get home at midnight. midnight. Usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you do exactly? Midnight. Midnight. That is late. Exactly. What do you do? Exactly? I work at the pink elephant. Ah, I'm chef. I'm chef. I work at the pink elephant. I'm a chef. I work at the pink elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. That's, That's my favorite, favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. My favorite restaurant, by the way, I'm Kevin. Okay, so do you have questions about vocabulary? Um, <coughs> no, 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 any, any mm -hmm. Okay, volunteers to practice? No, um, nothing. Okay, I'm Kevin. Okay. Rene and am. William. Okay. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get your home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the pink elephant. That's my favorite restaurant, by the way, I'm Kevin. Excellent job. Now, another two volunteer? 
Yo, Verónica. Ok, Verónica, Ed. Ok, yo. Ok, Ricardo. Ok, uh, so, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at 9? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Exactly? I am a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant by the way why I am telling. Finish. Okay, good. Let's repeat. Really? 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 Okay. Really? 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 Exactly. 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 By the way. Exactly. By the way. 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 Another two volunteers. By the way. Okay, yo. Okay, I see. It's uh Carolina and Juan Ismael. Okay. So do you usually come to the gym in Let's the morning? Start. Yeah, I do usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you, when do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm John. Okay, excellent job. Now <laughs> let's listen to Rebecca and Carolina. Okay. Uh, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Rebecca? 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 Um, not very well. Yeah, I do usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work fine. At five. Wow. At five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. 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 Yes, midnight. Okay, midnight? Continue. That is late. Midnight? That is late. What do you what do you do exactly? And, uh, I wore an pink elephant. That's my favorite restaurant, by the way. I'm Carolina. Okay, very nice. Nice job. Okay, as you see here, they are using uh, different prepositions of time. For example, here in the morning. Here in the morning. At Ten. At ten. At ten. In the afternoon. In, In the afternoon. The afternoon. At five. At, at five. At five. five. At night. At night. At night. At midnight. 
at, at midnight. At midnight. And the okay. pink elephant. At the pink, pink elephant. elephant. So as you see, well, there are different well, propositions of time. In this case, we are going to study the proposition in, at, and on to talk about time. For this, I have this document. I need to check. Okay. We use the preposition at with the expression night. Okay. So you cannot see. Yeah, you cannot see in the night, on the night. No, when you're going to mention night, you use the preposition at, at night, for example. If you are going to mention the time, a specific time, you use the preposition at as well. Also, when you refer to noon or midday, you use at at noon, at midday, at midnight, at bedtime, sunrise, at sunset, at the weekend in United Kingdom, okay? How do you say sunset? Uh, sunset es la puesta de sol. Sunrise, sunrise es cuando el sol sale. El amanecer es sunrise uh -huh, y el atardecer la puesta del sol es sunset. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. At es para una hora específica también, ¿verdad? At es cuando usted va a mencionar una hora específica. Se menciona at antes de decir la hora en la que sucede un evento. Por ejemplo, um, ¿a qué hora...? Cenamos. I have dinner at I have seven. my class in at my my eight. English class at eight. Yeah. Excellent. Uh -huh. I have my English eight. class at eight p.m. Uh -huh. A qué horas empieza a trabajar? Yo comienzo a trabajar. I start work at. Se la hora. A qué horas termina? I finish work. At, okay. Uh, and bell time. Hmm? Time. Bell time. Bell time is es a bell. la hora de a la hora de dormir. Hora de dormir. Si usted va a decir, mm, me cepillo los dientes a la hora de dormir. Por ejemplo, I brush my teeth at bed time. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. On a weekday, how do you translate, teacher? On. On a weekday. En un día de semana. Ah, okay. At the weekend. Okay. Si ustedes se fijan, okay. En el Reino Unido, si usted va a decir el, en el fin de semana, ellos dicen at the weekend en United Kingdom. Pero en Estados Unidos ellos dicen on. On, ellos lo on the, weekend. the weekend, pero se dice US. Ok. If you are going to mention that, si va a decir en la mañana, so you use the preposition in, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Also, if you are going to mention a month, he va a mencionar un mes. En enero, en febrero, en diciembre, en mayo, you use in. In February, for example. In May, in December. In May, in December, okay. Si va a mencionar una estación, también usa in, in spring. In spring, y puede in decir the con el artículo indefinido the in the in spring, the spring. In, the summer, in the summer in the fall in the autumn in the winter also if you're going to mention a year si va a mencionar un año también in y el año okay. 
yes, for example, you can say I graduated from the university in 2005. It means long time ago. The next. In the 90s. In the 90s or con la expresión en unos pocos minutos. A few minutes. A few minutes. Yes. Okay, the preposition on it, uh, we can mention on and that day. On Sunday. <coughs> on Monday. On Tuesday. On Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Con on ella no, so no, no podemos decir in Monday o mm -hmm. at Monday. No. no, it's not correct. The preposition when you're going to mention a day is on. On Sunday, on, on Monday, Monday morning. Si va a mencionar el día y en la parte del día. On Monday morning, on Tuesday afternoon. On si es en mi cumpleaños, un evento especial. My on my party. birthday. En el día del trabajo, on Labor's Day. En el día de independencia, on Independence Day. Mm -hmm. On Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, uh -huh. So you can say, I usually, Mother's Day, Father's Day. I usually buy a cake on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May 5, May 5. On May 5, ahí está dando una fecha más específica, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Aquí estamos hablando solo del mes. Aquí. Aquí ya es mes y fecha, ya más específico. Uh -huh. On también se puede decir con el tiempo. On the weekend in the US. Okay. Let's see if we can complete this. Uh -huh. Okay. No sé si le tomaron una captura acá a esto para que puedan completar este ejercicio. Yes. Sí. Ok, I'll give you some minutes for you to complete the exercise using the correct preposition. In, on, or at. Ok. Estás ocupando tu teléfono. Ok. Okay, my brother has a new show. He works in the evening. We're going to have a picnic on Saturday. Would you like to come? I'll be finish my work at an in one hour. When is the Then I can go home. When is this meeting? Is it going to have a picnic? Is it Saturday? I like to get up early, really early on sunrise. One, two, three, four. On sunrise. Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On sunrise when the best starts to see. And some birthdays um, is next week. My grandfather was born it's, it's up in the night, 90s. A usual station will, will, will be at, at all right. In time. Uh, uh, I like the longer days, my pick. On January 24, my grandfather was born on the will will be on time. My family, my family I like I like to ski at in winter. winter. A book in winter. Are, are there, are there any holidays? Holiday? Um, and after, um, I would feel about a long afternoon. At, at, 
जैसे अपना we move to the city we are in are you going to do anything special on your birthday I am going to watch the show this in on in on up ready finish finish yes are you yes. Uh, ready okay are you ready to check your work yes yes okay so here you have the answers in on in at on on in at at on in on on uh, mala in on at in oh no 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 cinco at seis on siete in on nueve in yes at at on in in at once at once at I didn't see the number fifteen teacher on at yes Oh, how many mala. correct answers? 13. Okay, if you've got 13. 15 correct, uh, 10. 10. ¿Quién dijo por ahí alguien tiene 13 correctas? I'm, es 807. I, am, I didn't see in the, in the picture number 15. Puede poner las últimas 5, por favor. Nuevamente, no. I'm going to watch her. La, en, en la respuesta. Ah, en la respuesta es at. In, hot, in, once. How many at, correct answers, at, Ricardo? In, oh. eh, uno. Eh, eh, solo una tuve eh, mala. Eh. Y la. 7.3. Está bien. Solo eh, una, no. 14. Si tuvo 14 buenas, 9.3. Yes, la pasé. Te oh. pasó. <laughs> hey, perfect. Okay. Okay, yeah, proposition are kind of tricky. Las proposiciones son un poco tramposillas. Cuesta un poquito agarrar esto, pero lo sí. hicieron súper bien. This is practice. Okay. English is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, this is saying the math. Yes, it's practice, practice, practice. So, um, otra vez. Otra vez, la de arriba. Okay. No. 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 In on a special year menus teacher yes and the question ten are there any holidays uh, because use use in you know and you know on in on in at at on number 10 in, in, on, in. in. acá tenemos in y el mes in Perfect. october in mm. january in february cuando solo va a mencionar el mes usualmente se usa in pero si va a decir un más específico uh -huh. mes y fecha entonces se usa on es aquí está on. On. Aquí ah, está okay. el mayo 5, más específico. Aquí solo mencionamos uh -huh. el mes usando in. Cuando usamos on, tenemos que ser más específicos, mes y fecha. Ah, entonces el in es más general. Eh, menos específico. Abarca algo más grande. Ajá. Porque, más bueno, menos. general, el más general es el at. Ajá, es in. Ajá, pero, pero, o sea, la diferencia entre in on, entonces es más general in, no, ya okay, on es en, más específico. 
Yes. Y en, fe, en febrero le puede pasar algo, pero no sabe la fecha, entonces no es específico. Ajá, en correcto. Pero cualquier día Ajá. de febrero. Ajá, es más amplio, ¿verdad? No muy Ajá. específico. Okay. okay. Uh, with this, we finish today's session. Uh, tomorrow we will continue practicing with prepositions. And I'll send you, well, this is a worksheet. I can send you to the WhatsApp group later or maybe tomorrow morning. I will try to do it later. So okay, thank okay. you for joining today's section. And remember to work on the platform. Okay. I'm going to the bell. Yes, well, Lupe has a question. Nos puede mandar eso que acabamos de ver para poderlo imprimir. Sí, sí, yo se los mando. Um, si no es ahora más noche, mañana en la mañana, pero sí se los voy a mandar. Vaya, gracias. 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 Gracias.